Hello, gentlemen. Steve Beeson here with American Ironworks. This morning, we're going to do a simulated piping failure. We have 80 feet of 3 inch 1502 rigged up. We have our medium duty blues installed. If you'll notice, I've compromised this, this nipple in this area right here, and it should fail around 13,000, 14,000 PSI. This last week, we did some testing on a new style restraint, what we were going to call the choke and spine. And what we discovered is even when we doubled the strength of the red, it still blew apart in the when it was installed in the fitting area right here. The, the five foot reds even doubled were still blowing apart. So what that tells us is that we have to use, if we're going to go with the choke and spine type system, we're going to need to use the same strength sling in this choke area on the five footer as we do on our blue. That's the only thing we can get to hold. And then we can use our ultra light light duty, which weighs 10 pounds as the spine. Um, we're only going to save about 10% in weight from our simple half hitch here that we've used for the last 10 years. This has been a wonderful system. It's just bulletproof. We've, we've never seen a failure. Had over 500 failures in the field and have never lost a pipe. I'll show a little bit of the aftermath. We just uh, simulated piping failure on 3 inch 1502. I'll have to look closer at the gauge. Looks like it failed around 14,000 PSI. But the medium duty blue really performed well. When I saw the explosion, I thought we had lost the pipe. But when they got over here, it did hold the pipe. You can see when that chicken came around, even though our sling did not fail, it punched a hole in the plate here. And old Fred did not get hit by the pipe, but this will kind of demonstrate how important the red zones are. Fred's probably eight foot from the failure here, and at 14,000, it still cut him in half, and his upper torso is upper torso is over there in the grass. But again, I'm I'm really impressed with the with the medium duty blues. I mentioned it before, but we've seen over 500 failures in the field, and have never lost a pipe, and today demonstrates why the system works so good in the half hitch.